a lot of times the only way he can win those matches is to hit that Canadian Destroyer and it's it's a devastating move but I'm telling you what you cannot sell that that pile driver that cradle pile driver that Jerry Lynn does because it is just as deadly you cannot sell it short Lynn make the chase I put out every time he's in the ring you cannot take Kenny Williams for a one trick pony he will bust out the sharpshooter he will bust out New offensive maneuvers when you're not expecting them. If you're waiting all night for the Canadian Destroyer, he will find a way to beat you with something else. And the former Team USA Captain Jerry Land drops the leg on P.D. Williams. Then past the Team USA Captain's reign over to Chris Raven this year. And he still is a mentor to many of the Expedition athletes. 360 dive off the apron. He just crushed Petey Williams right here at ringside. He got a little Canadian stain on ringside after that one. He just crushed him. And listen to these fans showing their respect for Jerry Lynn. Hey, Marheim across the back. Oh, he's going to power bomb him. Oh, right into the ring. That will do some damage. Petey Williams. He may not get back up from that. I mean, Lynn just picked him up for a powerbomb and threw him right to the apron of the ring, and there's no padding on that apron. Nothing but cold, hard steel. And that's what he just bounced Petey Williams off of. Right here at Philadelphia, Channing, you've still got it at Jerry Lynn. Petey Williams, I think, would hesitantly agree. Jerry Lynn, now's the time to push the advantage. Grab Petey and try to hook it up because he, but look at Petey, able to grab his tights and fling him through the ropes. And I believe Jerry Lynn hit his knee on that ring barrier. Jerry Lynn, another former world champion for the company that used to occupy this building. Also, one of the more decorated athletes in TNA. Held the X Division title and the NWA World Tag Team title. Petey able to counter that maneuver by Jerry Lynn and ended up dropping Jerry right across that ring barrier, throat first. Fans encouraging Jerry Lynn to get back to his feet. Petey looks like he's still suffering from that powerbomb 
what he's throwing to the side of the ring is he's not moving fast and he usually is. I think it's a, it's a horrible situation to find yourself in when you know you're fixing to get dropped on the concrete. But once you brace yourself for that, and then all of a sudden you're hitting the ring apron, it's so jarring. I think that would be harder to, to recover from than anything. He's got Jerry Lee and Hook upside down in the corner. We're going to do a little singing, Jeff Harris. He's thinking about it. Wow, Kenny Williams did not want to give the Philadelphia fans something to sing along to. A show of sportsmanship by Petey Williams and the fans replied by booing me. I think it was more spite. He, he didn't want the fans to sing along to the anthem. The, the Philly fans do that too. The Jerry Lynn giving the fans what they wanted to see. Lynn with a couple of bars at the American National Anthem. And the family jewels got to be hurting on young Petey Williams up and over. Get the apron block. Lynn maintains control up and out. Going over. Petey able to block it. Oh, and he drops a big leg drop to the throat. Nice counter by Petey Williams. Jerry Lynn trying to power bomb him right off the apron to the floor. I have to believe if he'd have landed that, that's been all over for Petey. Showing respect for the team cannon captain. Going for the cover, but I don't think you're going to get a three count after that. You've got to put some more punishment on Jerry Lynn. Now he's got a form of the Cobra clutch here. What he's got now he's got both arms tied together. Going to try to choke Jerry Lynn out of this hole. I don't believe you're going to you know put Jerry Lynn out with that. Referee's in great position to check. And Philadelphia breaks Jerry Lynn back to his feet. At one point he was called the new effing show because he stole it every time. But Petey Williams puts the drop kick in the back. Only two. As the fans remind uh, the referee it was a two count. We all got it was a two. Petey looking frustrated for sure. He's hit some mighty big moves for a little guy like that on Jerry Lynn, but he can't keep him down for the three. We talked about it with Brother Runt. He has not hit his ace yet. He has not hit his signature move. And I think that really is, if you'll pardon the pun, the money in the bank for Petey Williams. Another drop kick to the back. Jerry Lynn still able to kick out. Gonna go to the punches. Definitely frustrated at this point. When all you can do is punch your opponent. And you've got him on the got him on the run like he has so far in the last several minutes. Kitty Williams on top of Jerry Lynn in the corner. Whipping to the turnbuckle, off the ropes. Oh, but Jerry Lynn, what a counter! Right into a bank breaker. Beautiful wrestling from Jerry Lynn. One of the pioneers of the X-Division. We've already seen Williams take a lot of high-impact moves to his back, and that bank breaker couldn't have been more perfectly placed to add to that punishment he's delivered so far on his back. Petey. I would say it gets shorter, but he disappeared, but he's not going to be doing much after that. Jerry Lynn bringing the right hands to the side of the head. I was with up and over, high backdrop. Puts the forearm in the face. Williams, looks like he got the reversal. Lynn, drop kick to the back. It was Bobby Roode's Northern Lariat right there from Jerry Lynn. Oh, what a leg drop off the second rope. Big time series of moves. This could be it. Petey somehow able to kick out at two. I'm stunned. Jerry Lynn really put on a flurry there. 
and I thought he was going to pick up the win. Here we go. He's setting him up. Nope. Big flagger bomb. He just folded Williams. Oh, cannot believe he kicked out. Flagger bomb by Jerry Lynn. For the back and the spine of Pity Williams have taken a beating. We well, can always go back to Hollywood, Brad. You know he starred in some movies, right? I did not know that. He was in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I should have known it was going to be something of that level of humor. Kick by Petey. Oh, reversal. He's going to hit the Russian leg sweep. Down the lights into the Russian leg sweep. And Petey Williams. Vertically challenged or not is signaling for the Canadian Destroyer. Shot to the gut. Does not get it. Lynn is out. Jerry Lynn, they're struggling. He's going for that cradle. Kick to the head. Couldn't hold it. Rolls him up. Or Jerry Lynn wanted it too. Both these men going for their signature finisher move. He wanted to fight the Team Canada captain. And now we're going to see that sharpshooter. The sharpshooter is on. Thank God Earl Hebner's not referring this one or it'll be over. Some fans behind Pete Williams wanting to see the tag. Referee right there in position. He's checking with Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee is shaking him off. Right there, you can see just just maybe two feet from the rope. That was that. excellent move by Petey Davis. Oh, wait a minute. Reversal by Jerry Lynn. He's going to hook it on himself. He's got the sharpshooter now. And Lynn with the sharpshooter on Petey. Petey not too far from the ropes, but he's got to make it. If he were taller, he might be on the ropes, Jeff. He made it. He was able to get up on his elbows. Which took, gave him the opportunity to move closer to the ropes to get that break. But as much punishment as he's taking on his back, I will be shocked if Jerry Lynn is not able to pull out the win at this point, especially after that shark shooting. Go behind. Petey trying to block. He's got it blocked. Up high. Could be going for that TKO type move. Oh, and he ripped the eyes of Jerry Lynn to get out of it. Oh, he's hooking him up for the destroyer. He's got it! it. Oh my lord! He hit it! Lynn is out! And Petey Williams! Just like that, that one big move! That knockout punch! Picks up the win over Jerry Lynn! At Hardcore War, the Canadian Destroyer has bested the Cradle Pile Driver, but nevertheless, Jerry Lynn did come home to South Philadelphia and what a tremendous match out of Jerry Lynn no longer actively competing every weekend but a tremendous effort against a younger and faster and quicker Petey Williams it was a tremendous bout Jeff Harris and just as you said just as we speculated the Canadian Destroyer made the difference here at Hardcore War
for staying with me with a lot of promoters and promotion. Thank you.